Milk, from the farm to you. Milk arrives at this dairy every day from local farms. It's transported in special tankers like this one, which can carry an enormous 28,000 litres of milk. When it arrives at the dairy, a sample of milk is taken from the tanker to check the quality before it is processed. Once it's been tested, the milk is pumped from the tanker into huge storage silos like this one. The milk is kept cool throughout the whole process to keep it fresh. It then travels through pipes into this machine, called a separator, where the milk is spun 4,000 times a minute. This is done to separate the milk from the cream. Once the separation is complete, a certain amount of cream is added back in, depending on what kind of milk is being made. Whole milk has almost all the cream added back in, semi-skimmed milk has some cream, and skimmed milk has no cream added back in. The milk is then homogenised. This process mixes the cream thoroughly through the milk to make sure it doesn't just sit on the top. Next, the milk is pasteurised. It is passed through metal plates that heat it to 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. Pasteurisation is a process that kills any harmful bacteria that might be found in the milk, so the dairy know that it is safe to drink. After pasteurisation, the milk is cooled, as this helps to keep it as fresh as possible and stops it going sour. It is then ready to be taken to this machine, which is called a filler, where empty containers that have been labelled and date-coded are waiting to be filled with milk. This machine can fill up to 40,000 litres of milk every hour. That's the same as six bottles per second. The different kinds of milk are given different coloured lids, so you can quickly see what sort it is. Finally, the milk is put into the cold stone, which is just like a huge fridge, until it's ready to be loaded onto a special refrigerated lorry and delivered to your local store.